10 spring is just about here, so hurricane season, you know what that means. It is just around the corner. But it turns out what may be South Florida's best defense against the storm is being created in a Tampa Bay lab. The night team's Kevin Ozebek traveled there for tonight's Seven Investigates. They are the jewels of the ocean. And once a year, they put on a spectacular show as they create their next generation. But what you are witnessing isn't happening deep below the surface. We have to recreate every aspect of the ocean. Instead, these are rare South Florida corals spawning in tanks. I've never really had a green thumb, but I have a pretty good blue thumb. Rachel Serafin is a senior coral biologist at the Florida Aquarium. Because of the groundbreaking work being done here, corals in the Atlantic Ocean may be saved. The world's third largest barrier reef stretches all the way from Port St. Lucie down to the Dry Tortugas. But climate change and a mysterious coral disease have put the reef in peril. We've lost significant coral coverage and population on our reefs, something like 90 plus percent since the 80s. Now that Rachel can spawn corals in her lab, she's breeding them by the thousands. These rows of young corals will soon be transplanted here inside Biscayne National Park to rebuild the reef. We are going to need these corals. We're going to need that reef track to protect us from storm surges. We're going with bigger and bigger weather events that we're having and more frequent. We need these corals to not only withstand them, but help us. This little coral destined for Biscayne Bay is only about a half an inch wide now, but once it's planted in the bay, if it thrives in a few years, it could be about the size of a baseball. And after that, it could keep growing bigger and bigger for potentially hundreds of more years. If we had a healthy reef system there, that would help to break some of that storm surge and minimize the impacts. University of Miami Rosenstiel School PhD student Liv Williamson is caring for corals, some of which were raised by Rachel. When Liv isn't working at UM's aquaculture lab, she's underwater planting corals off our coast. Without those corals, if it's just a flat bottom, there's nothing to stop those waves from moving right in and destroying our coastal properties and causing erosion. Coral is so crucial to breaking up waves, UM even uses this hurricane simulator to see how a reef minimizes a storm's impact. And later this year, Lib will be part of the UM team that will start building and planting a reef off the coast of Miami Beach. I think that we are going to be able to keep coral reefs surviving in this area. But I, I think without this work, we may not have any. So thanks to these two scientists, we'll still have these amazing creatures that give South Florida both beauty and barriers. Kevin Ozebeck, 7 News.